Hey everyone, today's video is how to use dimethicone to make cells and create negative space in your painting. So we're going to make something very similar to this. Hi everyone, this is Sarah Fezio and today I'm going to be doing a negative space dirty pour with dimethicone canvas using Artist Loft metallic paint. So I'm going to use metallic leaf green, metallic red, metallic lemon yellow, metallic blue, and metallic orange. Okay, and then I'm also going to be using some Glidden uh, Pure White Base One for the background color and then intermixed with the paint. So, let me start with one that's open. I think the green is. So, I'm not going to use a whole lot of paint, just a little bit in there like that and I'm going to get these mixed up. Okay, so I have my paints pretty well mixed up. Um, I'm going to show you the consistency after I fix the autofocus. Okay, so here's my red. Okay, you should be able to see it coming off the stick. And my yellow, there's not much paint in here. There's the yellow. Here's the orange. The blue. And my green. All of these are metallic colors. There's really not much in there. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of dimethicone to each one. That was probably too much. It's like three or four drops. Okay. So the dimethicone is in. I have another container of white that I'm going to use to put in between the colors and hopefully the paint isn't too thin or too thick f to produce cells. I might just water it down just a little bit more. But I don't want it necessarily to blend with the white underneath. Okay, My orange. I have to mix that in. Actually the orange is probably runny enough. The blue Blue's okay. Yellow. Yellow never wants to mix. Yellow's okay. The green. <coughs> excuse me. The green's okay too. Okay, so I'm just going to set these aside. And I'm going to use this white to cover the canvas. And I'm going to put on gloves first. So the white will dry flat, or eggshell. So that's deep base number one by Glidden. And it is an eggshell finish. So we're not going to cover the entire canvas. So I'm, in other words, I'm not going to be tilting very much. It's more going to be just like a direct pour, uh, or direct dirty pour, I should say. So it won't be a flip cup, it's just going to be a dirty pour. But first I want to get white all over my canvas. And I want it to kind of go down the sides because corner. Okay. Just 
just make sure that it's on the corner. I want all the sides covered and everything, but they pretty much should be. Okay. So now I'm going to wipe my hands off. If I can get the paper towel off. Okay. I'm going to wipe all this off. And now I have a solid white canvas that's wet, but I don't want to leave it like that. So, because the house paint will dry fast. So I have a little bit left in this cup. I'm just going to use it instead of another one. And we'll start adding our colors into the cup. So. First, I'm going to add orange. And we might not use all of this. I'm going to put just a little more white that I've thinned down, which has already thickened up. That's what house paint does. It thickens up real quick. Okay. So a little more white in my cup, not a lot, just a little bit on top of the orange. Then we'll add the yellow. Just directly in the middle. A little more white. Then we'll add the green. A little more white. The blue. white and there are cells in there and then the red I'm just going to stir it again real quick then my red so I have plenty of cup uh, plenty of paint in the cup and I brought my torch in here I'm going to let this sit for one minute to the side. Okay, so my paint is still nice and wet on the canvas. I don't want to wait too long and normally I don't do this, but I'm just going to give it a little stir like that. That's might what it might be what it looks like. Okay, here we go. I should have poured my initials. So I still have paint in there. Let's torch it and see what happens. As you can see, those nice cells starting to form. all in there. I still have more in the cup. So
and I could have left that white, but I didn't want to. And then we'll just add just a little bit here in the center. And that wasn't supposed to be there, but it adds character. And I have paint going off the side. Not sure if this looks like anything, but definitely the stuff I poured out first looks different than the stuff I poured out the second time. And it doesn't want to do any selling at all, which is okay. What's happening is the white staying on top, some of the other colors are going underneath and it's bleeding under the white, which is causing the cells on the edge to form. When I see it peeking out from under there, I probably could have just left this whole section off and just did what happened in here, but that's okay. All right. So there you go. There's not a lot of negative space, but there's some. But it's unlike any of the other things I've done, so I'm happy with this. I see lots of different colors, and they should dry somewhat, sorry for my head, but they should dry metallic. The blue, or this color here, when it mixed, it didn't really do any cells. So. This would be negative space. You could pour all over the canvas and just leave a little bit of white, or you could just do like this area of your canvas or whatever you think. And you don't have to use white either. You could use whatever color you want. The idea is that the paint goes in certain areas and then one area is just a solid color, so. Okay, so I've mixed up some more paint and obviously it's, there's a few more colors. I've added, same colors as the last one, but I've added metallic cobalt blue and metallic purple. Now, I'm going to try to do two separate pores. 
on top of white again. So I'm just going to add a little bit of white paint in the cup. These are going to again be negative space, but I'm going to try to have more negative space because I kind of got carried away. Okay, so we'll have one that will start with the orange. And again, this is probably, oh, you know what? Oops. So the orange won't have any dimethicone in it, but I'm going to add that to all of these. Just a few drops. So there's no dimethicone in the orange. Not good, but that's okay. And I'm going to quickly change this glove out for one that doesn't have dimethicone on it. I almost forgot that and I would have done the painting and would have said, why didn't I get any cells? Okay, so there's already orange in there with the white. I'm not going to stir it. I don't need to stir that one. didn't put anything in it. Yellow. directly on top of the orange. And I'm going to set that aside. I've already used orange. The large cup of white is for my, just a little bit of white in there. And then I'm going to add my red. There's still a little bit in there, but not very much. Okay, so here's one dirty, dirty pour cup. Obviously, there's hardly any paint in there, but that's okay because this is supposed to be negative space. Now let's do the second one. So they're all very similar. Let's put purple in first. Okay, so I have purple. Put that to the side. white, let's put this cobalt blue in, almost all gone, and I'm putting more white in here because these colors, I don't want them to blend together too much, but I'll put the blue next. After I just drop that in, okay, blue, maybe I'll have to do two, a little more white, and green. Okay, so now I have twice as much dark paint as I do light paint. And here's my cup. This is um, a dirty pour, but also a direct pour because I'm just going to pour it onto the canvas. And if some goes off, that's okay. Okay. And up at the top, Let's 
Let's see what we've got. So I'm not getting as many cells as I did with the last one. The last one I didn't really tilt. but you can see that made those cells really increase in size. And now I have color all the way down the canvas. Those are air bubbles, not cells. Those are cells. What happens is it totally, um, What happens is the color goes under the white paint and causes these different effects. So now I have the same color dripping down this side, this side. I'm almost 100% certain it dripped down that side even though I couldn't see. And it's all on this side too because I can tell because it's on the bottom of my canvas. So this part down here is really nice. It's almost like less is more. So you have to try to keep your negative space. I just, I just find that really hard. You guys are probably going to be much better at this than I am. But I don't have any pitting and that's because there was such a um, deep layer of paint on there. But this part right here is really, really pretty. And then we have strong colors here and strong colors here as well. Okay, everyone, I have the dried paintings here. Autofocus is not on, so if it goes in and out, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna try to show you the close-up. So this is the first one I did. doesn't really focus unless I get it right up there. And you can see some of the details and how nice and colorful it is. I basically have to get the camera, get it right up on the camera and it's still not even focusing. So, so this is the first one. I don't know if you can see, but there are some shiny spots on it. I'm going to try to show you. Um, from the dimethicone, yeah, like you can see here, hold on, it's really hard, like here, there's some dimethicone just sitting on the top of this painting, and in an upcoming video, I'll show you what I do to get that off, okay? So that's the first one, and then this is the second one that I did, and this is the gallery wrapped canvas, you can see it going down the sides. The cells don't form on the sides, but over here you see that. And then here. 
So this is the second one I did. And it also has a lot, a lot of silicone. So some of it is shinier. That is like the, the wet silicone still, or it's dimethicone actually, but um, it's still sitting on the top. And this one is not flat. There's texture to it as the paint sinks. But um, these were the two final paintings. So there you go. And as you can see, I wasn't very good with the negative space, but that's okay. You guys can do a much better job than I could. I'm fairly sure of it. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell to see more videos. I hope you enjoyed this. Lots of love. Bye.